On this date, a tropical system in the Central Pacific became the longest-lived tropical system in that part of the world. It was way back in 19... Ooh, I think it was 82. It was a hurricane for a while. Tina became a tropical depression and finally fizzled after 22 straight days. Well, in the Atlantic Basin, we've got a tropical depression right now that's been in existence for 19 and a half days, tied for seventh on the all-time list for longevity. Here's a look at the satellite image of what's left of what once was a hurricane. This is Kyle, and the land area to the left is the peninsula of Florida. Fortunately, Kyle is little more than a swirl of low and mid-level clouds. You can see the swirl right in here, and occasionally showers pop up and then die out. This is in a rather dry environment, relatively speaking. It is moving into warmer and warmer water as it gets closer to the Gulf Stream right here. So there'll be some showers as this moves into Florida on Thursday afternoon. And aside from some choppy seas and gusty winds, maybe some rip currents, northeast and east central Florida, that'll be just about it. This is not going to be a wind machine. It is not going to be a flood maker. It's not going to be a coastal flood maker. Not to worry. All right? We'll call it partly cloudy with scattered showers and maybe a thunder shower from Cocoa Beach northward into South Georgia. And there is a small craft advisory, small craft exercise caution here from Altamaha Sound, Georgia, down to a Flagler Beach here in northeastern Florida. So that, my friend, is Kyle. And as we take a look back seven days, you can see it out here. There it is. Just continues to spin. One cold front came by, tried to pick it up, and it drew it northward. <laughs> you can hardly see it here. And then it began to sink southward once again. This next cold front missed it. Then a ridge of high pressure built over it. And now it's begun to move toward the southwest, toward Florida. There is some potential for some slight strengthening. Some potential. Tropical Depression Kyle, 30 mile an hour, maximum sustained winds. Moving west toward Florida at 9 miles an hour. This will be one of the easiest tropical disturbances to take in Florida ever. There it is. Just a few clouds and showers embedded in a relatively dry environment. Water temperatures? Warm. It's moving into mid-80 degree temperatures. Elsewhere here, it's all quiet. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, same story. Though this is an area of the Atlantic Basin where tropical storms and hurricanes have been known to form, especially in the Western Caribbean, early and middle parts of October. So we'll keep it monitored. Right now, things are showing all quiet, very quiet here in the Caribbean. Some tropical moisture heading up into Louisiana, where flooding may take place for the rest of tonight. On the other side of the Pacific Ocean, weather is all quiet. If you're planning a trip from say, Los Angeles down to the Mexican Riviera. Beautiful, beautiful weather. And as we head out toward Hawaii, just some high, thin clouds moving in from the west. That's it, quiet weather. Coming up, your forecast for Thursday. Evening Edition is sponsored by your Lexus dealer, where you can learn about the benefits of owning a certified pre-owned Lexus. I have asthma. I also have two brothers and a dog, Max, and friends I hang out with. I don't want to miss out because of my asthma. Singular can help you control your child's asthma. Singular is not a steroid, and it's not an inhaler. It's a different kind of asthma controller. It's a once-a-day cherry chewable tablet that can help control your child's asthma for a full 24 hours. Singular is available for children two years and older, and also for adults. Singular should not be used to treat acute asthma attacks. Your child should continue taking their other asthma medicines unless their doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If symptoms get worse, contact your child's doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, flu, runny nose, and ear infection. For more information about Singular, ask your child's doctor. And ask about adding once a day Singular. Singular, asthma control that can help you both breathe easier. We expect showers moving into our area by midnight and continuing on into tomorrow. Look for precip levels of one inch downtown and up to two inches in the outlying areas. Right now, the weather watch temperature is 52 degrees. With the peace of mind you'll get from the Lexus of warranties, owning a certified pre-owned Lexus feels just like owning a new Lexus. Don't be surprised if you treat it like okay. one. Let's look at the five day. Only at your Lexus dealer. 
at all these cute shoes. Oh, I could use some new heels. I thought we came for pants. Great boots. This isn't even the pants section. What do you think? I think they'd look nice with some pants. Where can you get over 200 styles of fall shoes and boots? Where can you get designer styles and quality at unbelievable prices? The shoe department at Sears. We'd like to welcome back a member of our First Outlook family. Kim Perez is here with your tropical update. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Nick. It's great to be back. Now let's talk about what's happening here in the tropics, where actually it's pretty quiet and has been here lately, except for what's happening off the east coast of Florida. Although this is quiet, I mean, it's not much happening here. We are still watching Tropical Depression Kyle closely, and we'll let you know if anything changes with this. But right now, it's still a tropical depression. Winds are at 30 miles an hour. It is moving west at about 12 miles an hour. Pressure about 1,010 millibars. And the good news is it's forecast actually to remain a tropical depression as it moves westward towards Florida. But if you're in Florida, of course, keep an eye on this. We'll let you know if anything changes. We are seeing some convec convection starting to build back up off to the south and east and um, a little bit off to the west too. The subsidence or the shear in the mid and upper levels actually has lightened up a little bit. So we'll watch this move off to the west, increasing the waves, probably six to nine feet or so. Watch the rip currents if you're going to be out there today. Then as it heads westward, it will start to track northward as it gets closer to the coast. And we'll keep an eye on this also as it heads towards uh, possibly into South Carolina in the next 48 hours. As you can see on our Doppler radar, some of those showers are starting to come into Florida. And we'll watch that uh, throughout the day today. Probably wind gusts maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. That's it. Otherwise, um, somewhat quiet. The Caribbean quiet. The Gulf of Mexico. Some tropical moisture heading northward, but nothing organized here. We're just expecting some more rainfall maybe along the coast. A little bit of rain out there at Beaumont, Texas. Eastern Pacific quiet. As you can see, just some westerly winds some of those high clouds moving off towards the east. Some shear out there. We'll keep it nice and quiet for you folks taking those cruises. Now here in the West Pack, we actually have a tropical storm, and this is Bobby. It'll be heading up towards the north near Saipan or near Iwo Jima, probably becoming a typhoon in the next 24 hours. Now here's Cheryl with Stormwatch. Cheryl? And this morning, we still have some flooding concerns out there, primarily across the lower Mississippi Valley. Places like New Orleans remain under a flash flood watch, and we have more flash flood watches, too, across portions of Mississippi for the next few hours or so, so be mindful of that. Although the rains have really tapered off for Texas, we are still seeing some pretty good rains out there. Again, some rain around Lake Pontchartrain this morning, up towards Biloxi and Mobile, back over towards Gulfport, Mississippi. By far, though, some of the heavier rains have been pounding Memphis, right around Shelby County. We've had the rain really coming down hot and heavy, nearly four inches for some locales. We've also had some localized flooding, too, back towards DeSoto County in northwestern Mississippi. And we're seeing some of that moisture also surging up through the mid-Atlantic region with some scattered showers currently from Baltimore back towards Washington, D.C. Well, throughout the day today, we'll watch this low-pressure system in the front kind of meandering its way and drifting across the southeast, helping to enhance the rain. More rains, too, up through the Ohio Valley. How about the rains, though, for the upcoming weekend? Let's check it out with Nick. Well, I think we will see some of that right along the Atlantic shoreline, all the way from, say, New England southward into Florida, doing a little uh, leaf peaking up here around New England. We're getting to the peak and near peak season, so uh, you could maybe take the umbrella for uh, a useful tool. Back toward the northern plains, that's where you're going to find some snowfall, very cool temperatures for this weekend in that area. Cheryl? there is wet weather ahead for the eastern U.S. A good reason to stick with First Outlook in the next hour. Beginning at 6.01, a look at the wet weather on the move into the northeast and the rain that's still holding on in parts of the south will help you get the family dressed for the conditions. At 6.20, some hot air balloonists ran afoul of the weather in New Mexico. We'll show you what happened. And at 6.50, building implosions always gather a crowd expecting a show. But then something went wrong as parts of the building flew through the air. Well, we expect some wet weather moving across the south today. Atlanta could be the recipients of some raindrops this afternoon. First Outlook is sponsored by Choice Hotel. 
Choice Hotels International invites you to experience the power of being there. Go! Your pet's same exact heartworm and flea medications delivered to your home, saving you time and money. It costs less than buying from my veterinarian. It only takes a phone call. I saved a visit to my vet's office. I didn't have to leave home. Pet Meds delivers my pet's medication right to my door. It's cheaper and more convenient than buying from my vet. I save time and money. 1-800-PET-MEDS. We deliver savings and convenience on HeartGuard, Advantage, Frontline, and all other pet medications. Call to order now or order online. Turn to page 94 in the middle of the book. Look at the numbers for Lat M. Hello? We will get into that in the second hour. The network's down. I have to go. I wouldn't want her job. How long do you figure this excuse is good for? Let's hope till we get to Maui. IBM and Linux make your network practically bulletproof. Everybody should know that. Bam! Okay, ladies, check out my latest purchase. 100% personalized. Hey, isn't that the Wakanachi River? Yeah, yeah, that's the cabin we stayed at last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cabins are fun. How did you afford that? Granted, it ain't cheap, but I've been specific. And 8 Central. And to get a sneak preview of the Storm Week video, go now to weather.com slash Storm Week. And hello, welcome back. I'm Mark Mancuso. It's about 50 minutes past the hour, and that means it's time for the tropical update. And we'll start you off by taking a look at our big picture here in the Atlantic. And as we show you the clouds rolling around, where you see the oranges, that's uh, where we have the cold cloud tops on our infrared satellite imagery. And that's, ten, that's where you tend to have some of the heavier precipitation. Active weather coming off the coast of Africa. You see some active weather here way out in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, well removed from the Azores. Some disturbed weather in the extreme eastern Caribbean around St. Martin. It's been about an inch and a half of rain the past 24 hours. And then right here, this little blip. This is Kyle. And Kyle is still, still a depression. And with this approaching the coast of Florida, now tropical storm watches have been issued here from Cocoa Beach up through Brunswick. And what a tropical storm watch means is that tropical storm conditions are possible, keyword possible, within 36 hours here. Kyle is very weak. It's a tropical depression. Winds about 30 miles an hour at the very most near the center of circulation. Movement has been towards the west at about 10 to 12 miles per hour. This motion is expected to turn more towards the northwest and north with time. And Kyle is expected to remain very weak. And really the reason why we have tropical storm watches out on the northeast coast of Florida is because if Kyle was to gain just a little bit of strength, it would be a minimal tropical storm. So that's the only thing we're concerned about is the potential for a minimal tropical storm. So at the very worst, we'd find winds 40, 45 miles an hour in a small area near the center of circulation. So right now, that is what we have for you. Infrared satellite picture, you can see the swirl right here, the center of circulation. And again, where you see the yellows and oranges, the colder cloud tops denoting areas of heavier precipitation. But this convective cluster is removed from the center of circulation, so that means intensification is really not likely with this in the immediate future. Here you can see your center of circulation, well removed from the deeper convection, which continues to be blown off with a light northerly shear or wind flow. But on the west side of the circulation center, as these squalls approach the coast, they have been flaring up. So we do see some rough conditions just offshore. So it does look like right along the first coast here and right down towards Daytona Beach, heavy downpours and some winds gusting possibly 20 to 30, 35 miles an hour. So here's that band of heavier precipitation. Notice the greens and the yellows indicating some heavier rain here. So some strong winds and some brief heavy rains for short periods of time on the coast. Again, center circulation in through here. Don't see any deep convection with it. Here's the water vapor loop, still a little bit of that northerly shear, northerly flow over the top of this that has kept the deep convection away from the center of circulation. Notice in the northern Bahamas, do see some serious blow off around Freeport. That's about it as you head your way southward through the Bahamas. Weather's really nice around uh, Grand Bahama towards uh, Paradise Island and through the Turks and the Caicos. Up to the north, Grand Bahama, that's where you see some high cloud cover, but really not looking at anything rough. Puerto Rico, look at this, the satellite and radar composite shows you showers building up over the mountains. And then as we take you farther east around St. Martin, and that's where we've seen some very heavy rains, Leeward Islands, a slow moving downpours, and farther south around Trinidad, Tobago, and 
up to the, the um, St. Vincent here, looks like we've seen a few squalls as well. Now, as we go through October, climatology says keep an eye on the Western Atlantic and Western Caribbean for possible development, especially the Western Caribbean in the mid part of October. Right now, we see an upper low in the area, but with time, we may see something try to flare up down here in the Southwest Caribbean. Far East, see a developing tropical storm here. That should pass well north of Guam. And it could head towards Iwo Jima as a strengthening typhoon. That's the latest on the tropics. Now it's time to head stateside with Stormwatch, and we'll talk about Assumption Parish, Louisiana. In Napoleonville yesterday, a tornado came through. Lots of damage here to mobile homes and several houses were destroyed. So again, we're looking at rough weather as heavy rain, thunderstorms, and potential of flooding is here as the storm comes out of Texas. But the good news is it's all taking aim on the east coast of the United States. Mid-Atlantic region really needs the rainfall. Looks like the several day and the several next days will be very wet. Look on the eights coming up. The suggestion that bird's eye farmers start making soup got them pretty excited. Mushy soup? No way. Not these beauties. No! I'd never put my bird's eye vegetables in a can of soup. Who said anything about a can? Hmm. The bird's eye farmers introduced hearty spoonfuls frozen to lock in the freshest flavors. Hardy spoonfuls has a rich seasoned broth loaded with delicious vegetables, chicken, pasta, or rice. Soup this good doesn't come from a can. It only comes from the farmers of bird's eye. Now that's soup. Hardy spoonfuls. Find it with frozen entree. Hi, Billy Mays here for Orange Glow. Powerful cleaners that are healthy for the home. Orange Glow wood cleaner and polish. It's made with pure orange oil. It cleans, it polishes, and it protects all at the same time. Use it on any type of wood. It makes old wood look like new. Wood dries out. Orange Glow nourishes the wood. It puts down an invisible barrier that protects your wood from water spots and stains without leaving a sticky residue. Before you reface or replace your kitchen cabinets, use Orange Glow. You do a lot of cooking. You get the grease, the splatter. It goes everywhere. Orange Glow cleans deep down the very first time. Watch this. Ordinary cleaners like this just don't cut the grease. Orange Glow is no... If you're uh, anywhere near the water, high surf. And the other thing is there is some heavy rain, but it's not occurring anywhere near the center. So potential for some flash flooding in a couple of areas. Let me show you the latest uh, information uh, from the Hurricane Center at 5 p.m. You can see the winds were up to 35 miles per hour. That's only five miles shy of a tropical storm strength. And uh, that could become a storm before it makes landfall, and it's not going to do it in Florida. We don't think it's going to be farther north than that. The motion at 5 was west-northwest at 14, although, as you'll see in a minute, it looks like it's moving north or north-northwest now rather than west-northwest. Now, here's the latest satellite image of the circulation center moving basically to the west-northwest and then starting to take a little more northward. You see that thunder shower activity flaring up near the center. You think, uh-oh, is it going to strengthen? Let's look at the radar imagery because that'll tell us whether those thunderstorms are near the center or not. But in the meantime, look at the winds out here. You can see the winds not very strong, uh, generally only in the 20, 25 mile per hour range and mostly north of the center. South of the center, the winds are going to be pretty light tonight, even uh, go down to calm after dark. Now you can see the low pressure center down here and it looks like most of the heavy rain that's flared up is on the northwest side in association with convergence with the land mass that it's coming close to. But notice now the circulation is starting to move more northward or north-northwest. What's all this rain up here well to the north though? That's another problem we've got. You can see there's a band of uh, moisture coming in here toward Beaufort, South Carolina. Up from Savannah northward there's a flash flood warning up till 9 p.m. Upwards of about four inches of rain have fallen, according to our severe weather expert, Dr. Forbes. So watch out up here for some very heavy rainfall flooding. That's the primary uh, emphasis tonight is the rainfall flooding, and that's well north of the center. Now, what do we think is going to happen? The circulation is going to slide along the coast. It may not actually make landfall until it gets all the way up into the Carolinas or may skirt the coast. Either way, we think the stronger winds that really aren't strong enough to do much damage will remain offshore. So it remains right now a wave, of, wave effect on the coast for dangerous uh, rip current conditions for swimmers. And then also, of course, we've got that flood potential there. So watch out for, for flooding if you're heading out tonight well north of the center. Make sure you bring a rain coat if you're out and around tonight in North Florida. In the meantime, in the Gulf of Mexico, we've been monitoring this frontal boundary out here. A lot of the showers have dissipated. We're looking at only one area of shower action way down here to the south. We'll monitor that. 
showing no signs of tropical development right now. So we can say we're in pretty good shape in the Gulf of Mexico. In the rest of the Atlantic, we see no tropical cyclone development. The winds are generally westerly. We have an upper level low that's disturbing the weather over the uh, Puerto Rico area and the uh, Virgin Islands, bringing some showers around there. So it'll be rainy there tonight and tomorrow off and on, but nothing really threatening flood-wise. Out off the eastern coast of Mexico and the west coast of Mexico, great weather there. If you're heading down to Cabo San Lucas and down to Acapulco, we have great weather there. Nothing threatening. But if you're heading toward Iwo Jima, we do have a tropical storm out there. This forecast to become a 100-mile-per-hour typhoon. This is Ba V. It's a very large circulation, producing very large area of high surf that's going to affect the southern islands of Japan as well. So if you surf her out that way, you're going to get some very large surf, so be careful. Well, that's the tropics this hour. Let's get back to the studio now with Carl. Dr. Steve, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and talk about what's happening across the U.S. right now. We've been watching this upper-level low traveling very slowly along towards the east, and deep tropical moisture has been moving into the southeast, so very heavy rain has been occurring in a good part of the southeast, and we certainly have seen the potential for flooding and, in fact, some flooding in some areas. And notice, if you will, this big trough digging into the west. That is the first in a series of troughs that will come down, and that's going to mean very cold air initially in the northern Rockies and the north central plains, and then through much of the country as we head through next week. We've got a lot of rain falling now, anywhere from Alabama into the Tennessee Valley, and then right on up towards D.C. and Baltimore. We'll talk more about it coming up. Fighting pain's not the same after the icy hot patch. I put it on, and the pain's gone. Oh. The Icy Hot Patch's concentrated relief goes on icy to dull the pain. Gets hot to relax it away for hours of relief. It's still working. The Icy Hot Patch. Pain has met its match. whitens teeth like no toothpaste. Plus White's Whitener Gel bleaches away stains to whiten teeth. Plus White 5 Minute Whitener Gel. As a zookeeper, one of my favorite things is when I introduce children to animals. There are animals from all over the world. So I'm going from air conditioning to extreme heat. But the climate changes can really take it out of my skin. Dove knows beautiful skin is healthy skin. That's why I use Nutrium. With Dove Nutrium, it's like I can feel the nutrients sinking into my skin. With stripes of cleanser and vitamin E lotion, Dove Nutrium replenishes essential nutrients and restores the radiance life takes away. It makes me feel nourished, almost like I have new skin. Pure, light, pearlescent, powder perfume. 